What's the best way to get to a hilltop winery? Is it by land? By sea? How about by air? 300 feet in the air to be exact. Welcome to Sterling Vineyards in Calistoga, California, the only winery in the world accessible by aerial gondola. We're Grant and Teresa Boggs, and we're on a mission to visit every winery in the Napa Valley. Yes, all 450 plus of them. And wine tasting here isn't just about what's in your glass, it's about the whole experience. Through food, architecture, and picture-perfect views, it's all in the details. Wine's an adventure, let's do it. Sterling Vineyards is synonymous with the Napa Valley, and really, no trip to wine country is complete without a visit to this hilltop landmark. They offer several wine tasting experiences. All of them include a ride in the aerial tram. And the one that we chose is the Sterling Stroll. It's a great way to get your steps in. It comes with five tastings and you get to enjoy it at your own pace as you go on a self-guided walking tour of the winery. It's about a 60 minute experience and it's currently $55 a person. That's kind of the entry level package here. So let's check it out. First of all, be sure to check in at the ticket booth at the bottom of the hill. It's where you pick up your tasting glass and a map of the property. And now you're ready to catch a ride in one of the gondolas. Now, fair warning, it doesn't stop. Just hop right in. And if you're the kind of person who gets a little bit nervous with heights, then you might be wondering how scary the gondola ride is. If it helps, Grant is not a huge fan of heights either, and he wasn't nervous about the tram at all. It's a very smooth, relaxing ride. So one of the most exciting things about visiting Sterling Vineyards is the opportunity to ride this amazing gondola. You can actually uh, purchase a ticket for $25 if you don't want a wine taste, but you have to come here with someone who is wine tasting. And I've, I've lived here for almost three years and I've never seen a view quite this magnificent of the valley. You get to see the Silverado Trail on one side and you get to see the, uh, the famous Highway 29 view on the other side. Once you get to the top, just take in the views and then make your way to the first tasting station. So this is our welcome for, it's a 2020 Pinot Gris from the Carneros region and what a great way to start off our trip here at Sterling. I will say one of the main perks of the Sterling Stroll package is that you really get to take your time and see the views at your own pace. No rushing necessary. And whenever you're ready, just head on through the main doors for pour number two, which is Sterling's unoaked Chardonnay. No oakies, eh? That's right, so this is definitely not your typical buttery oaky chard. It's crisp, bright, and acidic. Kind of more like a Sauv Blanc. So you might be wondering why it looks like we're in some sort of industrial building rooftop area. And it's because we kind of are. The Sterling Stroll package takes you behind the scenes and you get to see where your wine is actually being produced, which is pretty cool. So those wine bats there, they're not just for looks, this is a working winery. And speaking of wine production, do not miss the star of the show, Sterling's awesome and very expensive optical sorter. It uses high-speed cameras to select only the best grapes for wine production. Better fruit, better wine. And you better believe that machinery this advanced does not come cheap, my friends. We heard that this particular machine is worth about two and a half million dollars. Let that sink in. And as you contemplate saving up for your own optical sorter one day, make your way to tasting station number three. This was my favorite pour of the day. It's a 2019 Pinot Noir from Napa's Carneros region. Tasting station number four will be out on the beautiful terrace. Here you'll enjoy a taste of Sterling's 2017 Reserve Cabernet. It's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon with grapes grown right here in Calistoga, aged for 18 months in French, American, and Hungarian oak. Let's see what Grant thinks. 
How is it? It's very good. Jammy, full, bold, delicious. Cheers. So there you have it, everything a cab should be. By the way, you actually get to keep your tasting glass as a souvenir, so don't lose it or break it. And while you're on the terrace, be sure to check out one of the original Sterling tram cars from the 1970s. The original was largely destroyed by a fire in 2020, and Sterling has since then obviously replaced it with a brand new system, but it's still cool to see a piece of the original. And the tour's not over yet. We still have one more pour to go. For that, we head up the stairs to the gift shop. The fifth and final pour of the day is the Malvasia Bianca with subtle pear and pineapple flavors. And to me, a little bit of lychee flavor in there too. It's nice and refreshing and not too sweet. After you finish browsing the gift shop, be sure to check out one of the seating areas on your left before you leave. We were told there's an original Picasso hanging on the wall. Pretty cool. Overall, we had an amazing time here at Sterling. It's definitely worth a stop if you're coming here to the Napa Valley. And our top two tips for visiting would be to make a reservation if you can, and wear comfortable shoes so you can enjoy the sip and stroll. And shout out to Mabel, John, Kathy, Caitlin, and Javari at Sterling for being awesome hosts. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us a lot. And let us know in the comments below which winery we should cover next in our quest to visit every winery in the Napa Valley. See you next time.